Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. On the big workbench this week, I have got some substrates purchased from a craft store that I am going to finish knocking out with tile work. These two aren't really started, but those two are almost finished. I'm going to start on this commission of a friend who has passed away. These two are for fall and winter, kind of small substrates but I have a specific idea for those two. And then swinging around to the big bench, I still have that big project I didn't really work on last week, but hopefully I will have time this week to work on it. That's it for now. a color copy on my substrate I find sometimes the colors get distorted so I always have to have a color reference as well you can see how the colors are a bit different on this one I just printed it on my printer at home so it wasn't great quality anyway this way I'll be able to get uh, more realistic coloring and then I can just use this as a guide No, I don't. I'm at my collector's home and here's an old piece I made called Seymour and then a poured painting I did a while back and then this piece called ITP which stands for in the perimeter and then this piece mosaic I made called lost my son came over last night and worked on this so we finished up the fish started on the background this is gonna have a little LED light right there that lights up from behind. And the background is gonna get darker and darker as it moves away from that light. I'll show you what it looks like in the dark. Here's my son's mosaic in the dark with the glowing teeth and eye. And he's got this lure on the end that's an LED light. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna get real in the garden here for a minute. My zinnias are looking kind of terrible, but I'm gonna see if I can't get one more bouquet out of them. I like the birds to eat the seeds. I see all kinds of goldfinches and birds here every morning. And there's a few good blooms in there. So let me 
to get after it. I picked quite a few good ones and stripped the leaves. Now I can bring them in and make a flower arrangement. I'm going to do the arrangement in this picture that I got from Ikea. And because the mouth is so wide, I put scotch tape over there as a sort of frog to hold the stems up. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.